Tom Beltran back at Butch Butler Field in Greeley, where the head coaches are meeting at home plate. Mark Moniz for Brush and Mark Cowell for Holy Family. Holy Family earlier this season was ranked number one. Then they suffered a bevy of losses, including a doubleheader sweep by Faith Christian. But, of course, they won the most important game over Faith Christian yesterday in the opening game, 11-8. to And the Bee Diggers are looking to do to Holy Family in terms of what they did to Eaton, which is avenge a regular season loss. In fact, they avenged two regular season losses by defeating Eaton. And they did that yesterday with a 3-2 to two victory. Holy Family, now 18-5. and five. The Bee Diggers are 17-6. and six. Brush has won 11 games in a row. So they have got the longest winning streak now of the teams remaining in the tournament because obviously Brush and Holy Family are the only undefeated teams left. And Holy Family had a couple of late season losses. And it'll be Eric Garcia when he takes the hill for the Beat Diggers. And it'll be Zach Trombley. We'll get a look at him for Holy Family. This is the point of the tournament where you really find out how good your pitching depth is. But Eric Garcia, I'm sure very similar to Ryan Hirschfeld yesterday, will be on a short leash if he suffers through any struggles. And they will take him out early. The Bee Diggers have used a senior in Gregory Mayers. He went the distance and beat World Central 3-2. to two. And then Ryan Hertzfeld, who got the victory yesterday, going four and a third innings. And that 3-2 to two victory over the Eaton Reds. And both starting lineups are being introduced to the crowd here as they will line up along the first baseline for the Bee Diggers and the third baseline for the Holy Family Tigers. The Bee Diggers do have some experience in the starting lineup, but keep in mind yesterday when they defeated Walt Central, their three runs were driven in by Mitch Tormolin, who had two run homers a junior, and freshman Kyle Rosenbrock with an infield hit. And then Rosenbrock drove in the first run against the Eaton Reds, and then a couple of airs contributed to the other two runs. So it's a nice blend for Brush of seniors and underclassmen, the seniors in the starting lineup being Maris, Garcia, Blake, and Acosta. And Daniel Soto's not in the starting lineup with hitting, but he is the right fielder. The bigger starting lineup is brought to you by T.O. Charlie's for a great used car truck. If you don't see what you want on the lot, they'll find it for you at T.O. Charlie's. 700 West Platte Avenue in Fort Morgan. The Beat Diggers dressed in their maroon uniforms with the gold lettering, the white numerals, and the white pants. Batting first for Brush is the shortstop, Gregory Maris. The pitcher, Eric Garcia, hits second. First baseman, Mitch Tormolin, bats third. Kyle Rosenbrock is the cleanup hitter playing left. Batting fifth is the catcher, Trevor Blake. The sixth hitter is second baseman, Ryan Hertfeld. The DH has Scott in us, bats seventh. Third baseman, Tyler Monday, hits eighth. And Dylan Acosta, the center fielder, will be batting ninth as the beat bigger lineup and entire roster has been introduced. So the first pitch, more than likely, closer to 320. It's 315 as we speak. Holy family under head coach Mark Cowell and their black jerseys with the purple numerals and lettering in the white pants. And Garrett West is going to play a prominent role for Holy Family in that game in Broomfield back on March 15th. He had a three-run homer off of Maris, and that turned a 4-1 to deficit ultimately into an 11-6 to win. Holy Family scored 10 unanswered runs in that game. They did struggle defensively, but their defense has certainly gotten better since uh, defeating Brush that day. And as soon as the Tigers take the field, we will get to their defensive alignment. And when these teams met two years ago, Holy Family actually won the 3A state tournament. Some of these players familiar with that, but Eric Garcia was really the only starter for that team amongst these players who are still on the roster. Gregory Maris, of course, was on the team as well. And Holy Family's got a young team, so they really don't have too much from that 2010 
three A state championship team. And that's clarified through a conversation that we had with head coach Mark Cowell early on when he was surprised by the success that Holy Family had in March and early April because of the youth of this team. But this team has matured nicely, and that's why they're here, along with the beat diggers. Regardless of today's outcome, these teams will be here on Friday. They have qualified for the final four. Again, eliminated earlier today were Wells Central, Trinidad, and Olathe. If you win this game, the winner of this game automatically qualifies for the state championship game. They'll either have two chances to win one game if they win next Friday in the semifinals, or they'll just play in the state championship game, and that would be an elimination game for both teams if the winner of this game loses on Friday. Very simple double elimination format. The Holy Family is going to take the field. Garrett West is at first. Lewis Simpson at second. Joe Walls is the third baseman. The shortstop is Devlin Granberg. Around the outfield, Jacob Tinnan in left, Jay Elliott in center, David Johnson's the right fielder, Chris McManus behind the plate, and right-hander Zach Trombley is on the hill. No action today in Classes A and 2A. The Class A and 2A state championship games postponed due to the bad weather in Denver. Those were going to be played at Englewood High School, and... All the action in 4A and 5A has been postponed to tomorrow and Monday. So this is the only action going on today. As we have two games going on, and we'll get an update momentarily from Jackson Field and Greeley where Faith Christian is taking on Eaton in any elimination game. One of those two teams, even though both were expected to get to the Final Four, and that will not happen and the last update we had, they were tied at one. We're trying to get a fresh update for you before we get the first pitch of this game. Still tied at one, apparently. Yeah, between Faith Christian and Eaton from Jackson Field. So Gregory Maris will step in for the beat diggers. And Maris has had a very good state tournament so far. Yesterday he was two out of six, two out of four in the opening game, over two in the second game. Also drew a walk. And on the year, Maris is batting just 229, but an on base percentage of 413. And that's because he's been walked 18 times, which leads the team. Also been hit by four pitches, so essentially 22 free passes. Opening pitch brought to you by Ingmeyer Phillips Insurance, locally in Fort Morgan and Brush, offering home, health, auto, farm, business, and workers' compensation insurance. Ingmeyer Phillips Insurance, the curveball's in there for a strike on the inner half at 0-1. The offering, and the curveball is low and away, and the count is level to Maris at one ball and one strike. Hitting with a close stance from the right side, the offering, and the breaking ball is up and in. Ball two, strike one to the beat digger shortstop. And Maris awaits the 2-1 pitch. Swung on that ball. It's lined up the middle for a base hit in the right center field. Maris with his third hit of the state tournament. And the Bay Diggers have done an excellent job throughout the course of this state tournament of getting the leadoff men on. And that will bring up the left-handed hitting Eric Garcia. And the Bay Diggers yesterday scored two runs in the opening inning against Matt Begler. That got them going against Weld Central in that 3-2 win. The pitch... And that fastball is a little bit up and away. One ball and no strikes to Garcia. Garcia had a hit in game number two. Stretch and offering. And that's up and away as well. Two balls, no strikes. Garcia hitting 389 on the year. Homer and 13 RBIs for the senior pitcher. And the 2 0 from Trombley. That's up and away as well. Three balls and no strikes. This is the only left-hander in the beat digger lineup. Holy Family will have at least Garrett West. I know they've got multiple left-handers that Eric Garcia will have to contend with. Three balls and no strikes to Garcia. The pitch. And that's down and in, and Garcia walks. And now the beat diggers are off to an excellent start, first and second, with nobody out for Mitch Tormolin. Tormolin was hitless in the month of May, and then yesterday... 
had the home run in the opening game, then went two for three against Eaton. Four homers, 23 RBIs. For Mullen hitting 303 on the year and 312 with runners in scoring position. Righty against righty. The pitch. Swag. And I'm missing a fastball down the middle. It's 0 and 1. Your one stop center for projects around your home office or yard is Ackley Building Center. Ackley Building Center, 1402 Mill Street in Prush. The stretch. The 0 1. And the breaking ball is up and in. Eight Diggers did a nice job of working Begler and then got to Keenan Hall of Eaton in the fourth inning and got him out of the game when they tallied those three runs, which is all they would need. One ball, one strike to Tormolin. The pitch and the breaking ball is blocked. It's in the third, blocked by McManus. Ball two, strike one. The Bee Diggers in state tournament have allowed four runs. Holy Family has really hit the ball, but they've allowed 14 runs. And the 2-0. Swung on and chopped foul up the third base side. Check that. That was a 2-1. Now the count is level at two balls and two strikes. With Maris at second, Garcia at first. A single and a walk to begin the game. From Bush Butler with Kyle Rosenbrock waiting to hit next. McManus lays down the sign. The stretch by Trombley. 2-2. And that's in the dirt. Again blocked by McManus and a big pitch here. Three balls and two strikes. B. Digger crowd already into this game. And there's plenty of speed on the bases. Crombley stretches. And he steps off. Maris and Garcia were not going there. You certainly don't want to get picked off to begin the game, especially when you've got the momentum. A 3-2 and two to Tormolin. The offering swung on and fouled off to the right as Tormolin stays alive. Count remains at 3-2. And, and probably just trying to find the strike zone. Nine balls and five strikes to this point. For the right-hander. Again, McManus lays down the side. 400 straight away, by the way. The pitch swung on and hit right back to the mound. To second, and that throws a little bit wide for one. Back to first at late. For a moment, beats it out. That's a good thing, because that was nearly a 1-6-3 double play. Instead, just a fielder's choice. Runners at the corners. And here's Kyle Rosenbrock. Rosenbrock with a big day yesterday as well. By the way, you can follow us pitch by pitch. KSRSports.com. He picked up the save. He had a hit in each game. Rosenbrock hitting 303 on the year. The Beat Diggers looking to grab the early lead. 448 with runners in scoring position. The offering. And the breaking ball is up and in. One ball and no strikes. Rosenbrock, the cleanup hitter, and just a freshman. Maris leads off of third. Tor Mullen at first. And Trombley delivers. Down with a fastball. Two balls and no strikes. Got to be nice to get Eric Garcia the lead before he takes the mound. And the sun is out here at Bush Butler Field. The 2-0 to Rosenbrock, and that is in the dirt, blocked by McManus. Three balls and no strikes, and McManus will pay a visit to the hill. Rosenbrock closed out yesterday's game, and if the beat diggers have the lead late, he'll be called upon to close out today's game. And Gregory Maris also available to pitch. He threw 86 pitches in that 3-2 win over Welch Central. Runners take their lead, three balls and no strikes, and Rosenbrock... Awaits the pitch, and that's in the dirt. And the bases are loaded for Trevor Blake, who had a big at bat last Saturday with the bases loaded in the third inning against Strasburg with two down. And he lined a base in at the left field, and then moments later, Ryan Hurstfield hit a grand slam, and the beat diggers defeated Strasburg in the District 8 championship by that 5 nothing count. Wind and pitch, and that's outside. No homer, 17 RBIs for Blake. Batting 270 on the year. And the offering. Swung on and tapped foul behind the plate. Looked like a check swing. And the count is leveled at 1-1. One and one. Blake hit the ball very hard yesterday against Walt Central. He's 2 for 3. 0 for 3 against Eaton. 
One ball, one strike. Trombley's winding up with the bases loaded and one down in the top of the first inning. The pitch in the third. It gets away from McManus towards the screen. Maris will score. The third is Tormolin. The second is Rosenbrock in the wild pitch. And Brush leads Holy Family one to nothing. So now two in scoring position for Blake. If he can put the ball in play of a visit to the Hill. Again, that's what we mentioned at the beginning of the broadcast, that once you get to game number three over a two-day period, you really test out the pitching staff. So it's two balls and one strike once the conference breaks up. Cargill Meat Solutions takes as much pride in the community just as they do in the products they provide to their consumers. Cargill Meat Solutions, part of the KSIR B106 scholarship program. So Blake back into the box. The beat diggers have just one hit in the inning, even though they've had a few base runners. Blake in a hitter's count, and Trombley will wind up with runners at second and third. The pitch, swang, and a miss and a bender. Two balls and two strikes. A ground ball in the infield will score a run. The infield is playing back. Here is the wind, and the 2-2, swung on line, and caught by the shortstop. Granberg will step on the back, and Rosenbrock is doubled up. But the beat diggers score one. They do it on a base hit. No errors and a man left. We head to the bottom of the first. Brush one, Holy Family coming to bat. You're listening to the 3A State Tournament from Butch Butler Field in Greeley on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. The beat diggers scored a run in the top of the first inning. Let's get to the Holy Family starting lineup. Batting first is the left fielder Jacob Tennant, shortstop Devlin Granberg, who made the nice play on that line drive hit by Blake, bat second. The third hitter is the first baseman, Garrett West. Joe Walls, the third baseman, is the cleanup hitter. Center fielder Jay Elliott hits fifth. Lewis Simpson, the second baseman, bat sixth. The pitcher, Zach Trombley, hits seventh. Zach Dita in the DH will hit eighth. And David Johnson will be batting ninth. He's the right fielder for the b Diggers defensively. Mitch Tormolin at first. The second baseman is Ryan Hirschfeld. Tyler Monday at third. Gregory Maris is the shortstop. Around the outfield, Kyle Rosenbrock in left. Dylan Acosta in center. Daniel Soto in right. Trevor Blake behind the plate. And Eric Garcia on the hill. His last start was against Platte Valley, a very good one, in a 13-3 brush victory. But this is a Holy Family team that features a lot of firepower. And that fastball's in the inside corner for a strike. No balls and one strike. Working quickly, the offering. Fastball is down and in. Took something off it. One ball and one strike. Garcia doesn't mess around. All the beat digger pitchers like to work quickly. The offering. Swung on and popped foul. Out of play, off to the left. The count goes to one ball and two strikes. The beat digger scored on a wild pitch by Zach Trombley, plating Gregory Maris. And the 1 2. The curveball swung on and miss gets away from Blake. He'll have to pick it up and throw to first, and that one is in time to retire Tennant on the strikeout. There's one down. It's up the first base side, but Blake's throw was good enough. And here's Devlin Brandberg. Brandberg hitting for the right side, the Holy Family shortstop today. And based on what Garcia threw to the opening hitter, Tennant, hopefully that'll get him into a rhythm. Blake lays down the sign. Wine and pitch. Swung on and fisted on the ground towards Monday, the third baseman. He throws to first. There's two down. They challenged him on the inside corner, and Granberg turned on it but didn't hit it very hard. Here is Garrett West. He had a big free run homer in Broomfield. And he's a left-handed hitter for this Holy Family team, and that's the challenge for Garcia. He'll have to contend with some of these lefties. Wind and pitch. Fastball is a strike. Thigh high, it's 0-1. The wind and the 
curveball is lifted into the left center field gap. That one's going to find a gap. No beat digger will get to that one, and it's up off the bottom of the fence. Around first is West. He's the second base. He's going to try for three, and the throw by Maris towards third. The tag by Monday, and he's safe. And then he came off the bag, but I believe he's still safe. It's going to be a two-out triple for Garrett West. Excellent relay by Maris, but West was able to beat it. And with a runner at third and two down, here's Joe Walls. And that ball just twisted away from Acosta. Wind by Garcia, the pitch. And the breaking ball is blocked by Blake. One ball, no strikes. And Blake is going to be a wall behind that dish. The Bay Diggers lead 1-0 in the bottom of the first inning from Butch Butler Field. 1-0. Fastball, outer half for a strike just above the knees. The count is level at one ball and one strike. Walls awaits the 1-1. Swung on and lifted a right field. Daniel Soto is way back towards the track, still going back. He's under it, and he makes the catch. The inning is over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. An incomplete in this winner's bracket game at the 3A State Tournament. Brush one, Holy Family nothing on 10-10 KSIR and KSIR.com. It was certainly a struggle for right-hander Zach Trombley of Holy Family, throwing 15 of 24 pitches for balls in the opening inning, but a line drive hit by Trevor Blake resulted in a double play. And the Bay Diggers lead. Holy Family one nothing as Brush will send up Ryan Hirschfeld to begin the second. Wine and pitch. And the breaking ball is upstairs. One ball and no strikes. Hirschfeld is 0 for 7 so far in the state tournament, however, hitting 406 on the year, which leads the Beat Diggers. And the 1 0 offering. Swung on, that ball is hit right back to Trombley on a big hop. He will underhand to first. And there is one out. One down for Jesus Cardenas. And Jesus. On the year batting 262. Trombley has proven to be very hittable. There's no doubt about it. Wine in the offering. And that fastball rides inside. Welcome home to your hometown grocery store featuring Morgan County's largest variety, the Brush Grocery Cart. 1-0 pitch. That's down in the zone. Looked like a change of two balls and no strikes. The Bay Diggers scored their run in a wild pitch, plating Gregory Mares in the top of the first. 2-0 to Jesus, and that's low. Bounces in again, 3-0. The Bay Diggers are an aggressive team, but they know they've got to be patient against this right-hander who's thrown 19 of 29 pitches now for balls and has already walked two. And now he's walked three. That pitch up and in with a fastball. So Cottenhouse has issued a one-out walk. Here's the third baseman, Tyler Monday. Monday batting 222. No homers, 12 RBIs. The stretch by Trombley. And the pitch. And the breaking ball's a beauty right there for a strike. Monday so far in this state tournament is 0 for 5. And the throw back to first back and diving is good enough. You can follow us pitch by pitch at KSIRsports.com, a detailed pitch by pitch account of the game. And the offering. Swing and a miss at a breaking ball in the dirt. One ball and two strikes. Yeah, no doubt that's something Monday wants to avoid. Got to swing at the ideal pitch. A stretch. And Trombley with the 0-2. Curveball is grounded a third. Could be two. To second, that's one. And to first, that's two. It's a 5-4-3 double play. Walls to Simpson to West. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left. We head to the bottom of the second inning. It's brush one. Holy family nothing on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. It'll be Jay Elliott, Lewis Simpson, and Zach Trombley batting here in the... Bottom of the second inning for Holy Family. Brush leads one nothing. Here in a fairly dry day at Butch Butler Field in Greeley. 
Elliott hitting for the right side is the Holy Family center fielder. Eric Garcia pretty much breezed through the first. He did give up a two-out triple to Garrett West, but threw just ten pitches. Wine and offering. Swear, going to mess in a fastball just below the letters. It's 0-1. Blake lays down the sign, and Elliott awaits the 0-1 pitch. Curveball is low. The count is level at one ball and one strike. And the offering. Low again. Ball two, strike one. The bee diggers so far in 15 innings have allowed just four runs. So the pitching has been top-notch. Swung on and fouled straight back with a fastball. The count is level. At two balls and two strikes to Jay Elliott, the leadoff hitter for Holy Family in the bottom of the second inning. Garcia gets the sign. 2-2 pitch. Swing and a miss and a changeup. Second strikeout. That's his out pitch and there's one down. Elliott way out in front. Here's Lou Simpson. He started for Holy Family and got the no decision. One Holy Family, one swung on and grounded up the middle. Shortstop Maris on a huge hop off his left shoulder. That'll be in the center field. We're going to call that a base hit. That took a horrendous hop. As Simpson was able to beat that out easily, but there's just no way. No way Maris could have made the play on a routine grounder that took an atrocious hop. We'll call that an infield hit for Holy Family. Here's the right-handed hitting Zach Trombley. Yeah, a true hop, and that would have been out number two, the stretch. And the offering, and the breaking ball is bounced in, blocked by Blake, one ball, no strikes. Well, the beat diggers end at the top of the second inning with a 5-4-3 double play. Hopefully they'll be able to duplicate that defensively. Two-step lead for Simpson. The pitch. Fastball, a strike on the outside corner at the knees. The count is level at one and one. Like a good neighbor, State Farm agent Greg Mullen is there. Let Greg Mullen work with you to get the discount you desire and the coverage you need. State Farm agent Greg Mullen. Pitch and the changeup looked pretty good from here, but call the ball. Must have been a little bit low and away. Two balls and one strike. Zach Trombley trying to help his own call. Throw back to first back and diving is Simpson. On the bottom of the second inning from Bush, Butler, Field, and Greeley. Rush one, Holy Family nothing. The offering. Swag, and a miss tied him up on a fastball. And the count is at two and two. Lamar won the first two games here today, eliminating Weld Central 10 nothing and Olathe 9 to 6. The pitch. Swag, and a miss and a fastball up in the zone. Second strike out of the inning. And third of the game for Eric Garcia. There's two down. Here's the DH, Zach Deaton, hitting in the eight hole. The third left-handed hitter in this very versatile to Holy Family lineup. Garcia delivers. And that's up and in. Took something off, and it's 1-0. Brush has won 11 games in a row. They were 6-6, six and six, are now 17-6. and six. And the pitch, outside. Two balls and no strikes. Now Garcia would like to start the third inning with a number nine hitter. But he's got to take care of Deaton right now. And the offering. Swag, and I'm missing a fastball just above belt level. Two balls and one strike. He's got some mustard on that pitch today. Simpson with a two-step lead. Let's see if he takes off at any time. The offering. Curveball is fouled off down the left field side. And the count is level at two balls and two strikes. Garcia looking to strike out the side. Two and two. To Zach Deaton. Garcia stretches. The pitch inside with a fastball. Now, the danger here is that Simpson will be taking off with a pitch. So no need to even cover second base on a steal here. He's going to be going automatically with two down. And the 3-2. Call strike three. Fastball down the middle. 
Might have got the outer part of the play, but either way, Garcia strikes out the side. No runs, one hit, no errors, a man left. Two complete at the 2012 Class 3A State Tournament from Butch Butler Field. It's plus one. Holy family nothing on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. It'll be the 9-1-2 and two hitters for Brush as we begin the third. Brush leads Holy Family 1-0 in a winner's bracket game. This is the only non-elimination game taking place today after both teams went 2-0 and yesterday. And Dylan Acosta and Zach Crombley swings and grounds it foul up the third base side. No balls and one strike. And so far Acosta is 0-5 for 5 in the state tournament. On the year batting 273 with a senior center fielder. McManus lays down the sign. And the 0-1. That is all the way to the screen on the fastball. The count level at one ball and one strike. A Dicker scored their lone run in the first inning. Had a chance for more, but a line drive double play killed that rally, and the breaking ball is on the inside corner for a strike. One ball and two strikes to Dylan Acosta. Wine and pitch. Her ball is grounded to third. That's a big hop. Nice play over there by Walls. The throw to first is a little bit offline and safe. It pulled west off the bag. And that'll be an error on the third baseman, Walls, on the errant throw. Up the right field side. Look like he should have just set. He didn't set himself. And here's Gregory Maris, who's single to begin the game. Yeah, I'm surprised he unleashed that ball when he did, in the form he did, because he had time to set his feet. Acosta with a two-step lead, throw back to first, back in standing. Good move over there by Trombley. The stretch by Trombley. Pitch to Maris. Swung on and fouled at the plate. Might have caught a piece of his foot. No balls in one strike. The Bay Diggers have won two one-run games. Holy Family defeated Faith 11-8 to and then destroyed Olathe 25-6. to And the offering. Fastball is upstairs. The count level at one ball and one strike. The loser of this game would have to win two games in a row next week to qualify for the state championship game. The winner is automatically in regardless of whether they lose the state semi or not. Low and away, throw back to first, Acosta back in standing. Two balls and one strike. To Gregory Maris. Brush with a one nothing lead in the top of the third. The stretch and the offering. And the curveball is upstairs. Maris now in a hitter's count. At ball three, strike one. Trombley stretches. And the pitch. Swung on and popped up in the shallow left field. The shortstop, Granberg, is out, settles under it, makes the catch. Costa back to first. There's one down. And Maris not happy with himself. That pitch was up in the zone on the 3-1. Certainly not his pitch. That'll bring up Eric Garcia. Garcia walked in the opening inning. And Trombley has thrown... 42 pitches, only 18 for strikes. Throw back to first, back in diving. Is Acosta. And yeah, the beat diggers don't run much. They've got speed, but they don't steal a lot of bases. Stretch by Trombley. It's to Garcia. Swung on and driven deep to right field. And way back is Johnson. And that ball is off the fence. Around second is Acosta. He'll be into third. Eric Garcia with a one-out double. And the beat diggers have two runners in scoring position for Mitch Tormolin. About another three or four feet, that would have been gone. But now the beat diggers with another opportunity to score with Mitch Tormolin. Tormolin hit into that fielder's choice in the opening inning. And Trombley will wind up with runners at second and third and one on a ground ball. The infield will score. Acosta, the pitch, and the breaking ball is up and in. One ball and no strikes. Yeah, Garcia got all of that pitch. McManus lays down the sign. And he 1-0. And the breaking ball is low. 
Good job of Tor Mullen laying off. They're going to check. Two balls and no strikes. To Mitch Tor Mullen. Wine and offering. Fastball right inside. 3 0. Acosta at third. Garcia at second. And Tormolin awaiting the 3 0 pitch. That's right down the middle for a strike, just above the knees. It's 3 and 1. Both teams with two hits in the game. Only families committed the game's only error. And the 3 1 offering. And that's down with a fastball. And the bases are loaded for Kyle Rosenbrock. With one out in the third, the Bee Diggers up one nothing In his winner's bracket game in the 3A state tournament, Rosenbrock walked. And the walk is certainly plaguing Zach Trombley. He's already issued four in the game. He has not struck out a hitter. The pitch... Fastball, a strike at the knees on the outer half at 0 1. He already got out of a big jam earlier. And the offering. Foul tipped at the plate. Rosenbrock down in the count at 0 2, so Trombley's coming back here. This could swing the momentum of the game if Holy Family and Trombley gets out of this. Well, let's see if Rosenbrock has something to say about it. Curveball swung on and missed. He strikes out on three pitches. And there's two down. So Trevor Blake will have to pick up Kyle Rosenbrock. Blake hit that line drive that was caught by the shortstop Granberg, and he turned it into a double play. Boy, and Rosenbrock is such a good contact hitter, but probably saved his best stuff for the beat bigger freshman. Wine and pitch. Curveball is hit to the shortstop on the ground. Granberg has got it. Scoops, throws to first, and the inning is over. The b diggers blow a huge opportunity. No runs, one hit, no errors. The bases were left loaded. Two and a half complete. Brush one. Holy family nothing on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. Well, the b diggers could not take advantage of an error and a double by error. Garcia, the walk to Mitch Tormolin. Bases loaded, one out. Rosenbrock struck out and... Trevor Blake grounded out. And hopefully that doesn't affect Garcia because he clapped those hands in almost disgust after the inning ended. But he's done a great job on the mound, striking out the side in the second. He's got four strikeouts. And he's continuing his dominance against Holy Family, which he began two years ago in relief in a 12-7 loss. So Holy Family begins the bottom of the third with David Johnson, Jacob Tinnan, and Devlin Granberg, the 9-1-2 and two hitters, against Garcia. And Garcia delivers. Swung on and fisted into to the shortstop Mares. He'll make the catch. I thought that was going to reach shallow left field, but Mares, one step on the grass, is able to make the catch. There's one down on that soft flare. There's Jacob Tennant, who struck out on a breaking ball in the dirt in the opening frame. And Garcia delivers. That's a strike. Took something off that fastball in the outside corner. Thigh high. It's 0-1. The beat digger right-hander with a breaking ball in the dirt. The count level at one ball and one strike. Yeah, this is a critical inning for Garcia, just so Holy Family doesn't turn the momentum they established by getting out of that into some offensive success. And that's on the inner half for a strike with a fastball, thigh high, and the count is at one ball and two strikes. Bases empty, one down, bottom three. Brush one, Holy Family nothing. The pitch, and that changeup is in the dirt. Two balls, two strikes. And the sun is completely gone, but no threatening plows in the area. 2-2 two, to two, two. Granberg upstairs. Check that. That's the Tinnen. With Granberg on deck. Three balls and two strikes. And Tinnen with plenty of speed. If he gets on the bases, the offering. And he's on the bases. He walked. 
That'll send up Devlin Granberg, who grounded to third in the first inning. So one on, one out. Holy Family, I believe, trailed against Faith Christian yesterday in the opening game, but Brush has not trailed in the entire series. They let 2 nothing early. And Eaton has defeated Faith Christian 3-2. to two. With two in the seventh, the stretch. Pitch to Granberg. And the fastball low and away. One ball and no strikes. So Faith Christian eliminated the stretch. And the offering. Change up swing and a miss down in the zone. It's one and one. And they can change who plays next week in terms of the bracketing because they don't want previous opponents to face each other in the next round. The offering. Fastball is high. But based on the bracketing, if Brush wins this game, and we'll get to that momentarily, the pitch... Swung on and driven deep to left field, but right there is Rosenbrock, and he makes the catch. That ball was hit hard, but Rosenbrock right there for the out. And the ball just sunk into his glove. There's two down. But here's the very dangerous Garrett West. He had a triple into the left center field gap. With two down and the base is empty. Garcia's going to have to figure him out. He's perhaps the best hitter in this lineup, the pitch. And the changeup is a little bit high. One ball, no strikes. Ten and off of first. Garcia stretches, and he's taking off, and Garcia steps off. He'll throw to second. Mares applies the tag, and out at second base as Garcia did the right thing right there, stepping off the back of the mound and caught stealing is Jacob Tinnen. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left. We head to the fourth. Brush one. Holy family nothing. You're listening to the 2012 3A State Baseball Playoffs from Greeley on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. John Beltran back at Butch Butler Field in Greeley. We head to the fourth inning in this 3A State Baseball Tournament game, this winner's bracket game. Brush one. Holy family nothing. Ryan Hirschfeld, who grounded to the mound, steps in for the bee diggers. Against the right-hander, Zach Trombley, the pitch. Swung on line, but that is foul down the left side. It is 0-1. So it looks like next week's matchups are almost pretty much set, even though this game is in question yet. The offering, swung on, driven deep to center field. Jay Elliott to his right, settles under it, and makes the catch. And there's one down. Hirschfeld gave it a ride, but still is looking for his first hit of the state tournament. Jesus Cardenas walked in his first plate appearance. The Bay Diggers have killed themselves, leaving the bases loaded one inning ago. And the changeup is low. One ball, no strikes. No doubt Garcia has been the better pitcher so far, but Brush only has one run. And the curveball is upstairs. Trombley's already issued four walks. Two balls and no strikes to the beat digger DH, the pitch, and that is down in the zone. Three and oh. Now the beat diggers have had a base runner on in every inning. But just with a first inning run. Wine and offering. That's a strike. Took something off that fastball. Three and one. We are live pitch by pitch at KSIRsports.com. And the 3 1 swung on and fisted on the ground of the shortstop. Granberg, he's got it, throws off his back foot, but in time. And there's two down. There's Tyler Monday. And he grounded out in his first at bat. You get to this point in the tournament, and pitching dominates, and that's what's happened. In this particular game, B-Diggers involved in another close one. 
And that is a little bit low and away. Took something off that fastball. One ball, no strikes. The base is empty and two down in the top of the fourth. Wine of the pitch to Monday. Swag and a miss. On a pitch down and away, the count is level at one and one. Monday with an open stance. Awaits the offering, and that's in the dirt. Bounces to the screen. Two balls and one strike. Like a good neighbor, State Farm agent Greg Mullen is there. Let Greg Mullen work with you to get the discounts you desire and the coverage you need. Swung on and lifted into the left center field gap. The center fielder, Elliott, to his right, is under it, makes the catch. It's a 1-2-3 inning for Zach Trombley. Three and a half complete at the 3A state tournament. Brush one, holy family nothing, on 1010-KSIR and KSIR.com. Well, as I mentioned earlier, that... Next week's games are pretty much set because they try to avoid the same teams playing each other before the finals, which means that Holy Family will be facing Eaton coming up on Friday, and Brush would take on Lamar regardless of the result here. And here's Garrett West. He was at the plate when when Ten was picked off at second. So he begins the fourth inning against Garcia. The pitch. Fastball is upstairs. The Bay Diggers with a one nothing lead on a wild pitch by Trombley in the first. The offering. Swung on line to center field. And to his right is Dylan Acosta. He makes the catch. He came in. Gave a little bit of a scare there, but he makes the catch for the out. And anytime you retire Garrett West, that's a big deal. Here is Joe Walls. Walls had a deep fly to right that was flagged down by Daniel Soto in the first inning. And both pitchers are working on two hitters. Wine and pitch. Fastball is upstairs. One ball and no strikes. Blake lays down the sign and the offering, and the changeup is in the dirt. 2-0. Garcia issued his first walk of the game in the third inning, and that fastball's outside. The Baydigger fans wanted it, but that was definitely outside. 3-0 to Walls, the pitch. That's right there. Whoa, where did that miss? you got to be kidding me. I mean, if that's not a strike, I don't know what is. I mean, it might have been a tad high, but that's certainly looked like it was in the zone. Huh? There's Jay Elliott. He struck out swinging in his first at bat. One on, one out in the fourth. Brush up, one nothing. The pitch, that's high. With a fastball, one ball, no strikes. And Garcia's got to settle down here and find that strike zone. 24 strikes, 22 balls now, so he's been a little bit inconsistent, the pitch. That is upstairs, 2-0. Oh. Well, if you give away free passes, then it just takes a, a base hit. Six consecutive balls thrown by Garcia. The pitch, 3-0. Oh. Well, this happened to Ryan Hirschfeld yesterday. And he gave up two runs after walking the first two. Garcia with a 3-0. That's not even close. And here comes John Hurstfeld Jr. for a visit to the hill. With Lewis Simpson, who singled on that ground ball that took a terrible hop. Hop, that is, off of Mares. That's Holy Family now. It's first and second with one out. And that's the amazing thing about baseball. You get into a rhythm, and then just like that, on eight pitches, you're out of rhythm. And that's what's happened with Eric Garcia here in the bottom of the fourth with Brush leading Holy Family one to nothing in this winner's bracket game in the 3A state tournament. Now the Beat Diggers will be looking for a double play to get out of this inning, but Holy Family is a base hit away from tying the game or perhaps taking the lead. Conversation breaks up, and as I mentioned earlier, the Beat Diggers now, to update that, have played 
17 and a half innings of baseball in the state tournament and have not trailed yet. But they're in jeopardy of losing the lead. And Garcia doesn't want to groove one in against Simpson. That could be trouble. The pitch. Up and in. One ball and no strikes. Yeah, this is getting painful for Garcia and his beat digger teammates. Let's see if he can throw one down the middle here at 1 0. Took something off it on the changeup, and it's low. 2 and 0. Well, there's no defense for a walk right now. Garcia looked pretty much unstoppable for a while. Now the 2 0 pitch. That's a fastball for a strike. Felt high in the outside corner. 2 and 1, but you've got to make another clutch pitch right now. I hope that you get out of the inning, and then you can build on the one nothing lead. 2-1. Swung on and lifted the left field. Rosenbrock to his right, still running along the line, and he makes the catch. Boy, right by his shoestrings. What a catch by Rosenbrock. He almost let that ball drop, and there's two down. Defense saved the big diggers there. Rosenbrock, with a speed, made the play. Along the left field line, both runners had to hold. Here's Zach Trombley. He struck out swinging in his first at bat. Let's see if Garcia's back in a rhythm now after that play. Well, that was a scary one for Brush, but Rosenbrock was able to put it away. Walls at second, Elliott at first. Blake lays down the sign, the stretch. And the pitch to Trombley. Fastball is up and away. Garcia's thrown his fastball. For strikes for the most part until this inning. This inning has been a, a struggle for the right hander. The offering, swag, and a miss pulled a fastball right by him. Belt high, it's one and one. Runners take their leads with two outs in the bottom of the fourth inning. And the pitch to Trombley. Curveball is grounded sharply towards Mayer's backhand. It flips to second for the out, and the inning is over. And that ball was hit very sharply, but Mayers made the play. No runs, no hits, no errors, and two men left. Four complete at the 3 A state tournament. Brush one. Holy family nothing on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. Back here at Butch Butler Field in Greeley, we are in the fifth inning. The Bay Diggers continue to cling to a one nothing lead over Holy Family and this winner's bracket game in the 3A state tournament. And both Eric Garcia and Zach Trombley have had their adventures on the hill for Brush and Holy Family, respectively. Trombley's thrown 63 pitches, and only 30 of those for strikes, while Garcia has thrown 56 pitches, 28 balls, 28 strikes. Dylan Acosta awaits the pitch. Swung on line to right field for a base hit down the line, but David Johnson will get to it, holding Acosta to a single. He's now one for two, but on base twice after reaching on an error in his first plate appearance. But can the beat diggers do anything by getting the leadoff men on? Here is Gregory Maris, who singled and popped out. One step lead for Acosta. It's to Maris. And that ball's in the dirt on the breaking ball. Blocked by McManus. It's 1 0. Much different than that 11 6 game that the Beat Diggers lost on March 15th. Throw back to first, and Acosta back in standing was leaning a little bit. And we know that Trombley's got an excellent move. Got to be fairly close to that bag. 1 0. And that is in the dirt again. Two balls and no strikes, but McManus, for the most part, other than that wild pitch, has blocked everything. And that wild pitch scored the run in the game. Two out of Maris, and that is low with a fastball. Three balls and no strikes. All of a sudden, Trombley can't find the zone. And Kyle Rosenbrock is warming up in the right field bullpen for the beat diggers. He threw 33 pitches yesterday. It's 3-0 to Maris. Looked like Trombley was going to wind up 
had to reset the stretch. Toyota Maris scoring the bun. The fastball's down the middle for a strike. It's 3-1. and one. Now Maris swung at a 3-1 pitch in a second at bat and popped a short. Obviously wants to avoid that right now. See if he can take a walk here. The pitch. Fastball is inside, and he does walk. And Zach Trombley continues to struggle with his control. As he has now issued five walks in the game. And Eric Garcia has thrown four shutout innings at the plate. He's walked and doubled. Unfortunately, when he doubled, it was second and third. Then the bases loaded one out, and beat diggers did not score in that inning. Off of second, Acosta. Off of first is Maris. The pitch and the curveball is in there for a strike. On the inside corner, just above the knees, it's 0-1. No balls and one strike to Garcia. And the offering. And that curveball is inside. One ball, one strike. For all of your title needs, visit Tim Weimer at Northern Colorado Title. Right there on Kiowa in Fort Morgan. That's Tim Weimer at Northern Colorado Title. Stretch by Trombley. And a pitch to Garcia. Swung on and lined up the middle for a base hit. Let's see if Acosta's going to round third and try to score. He's going to be held up. As Jay Elliott gets the ball back in, the beat diggers didn't want to take a chance of that throw. Went through to the plate, and the bases are loaded. Garcia is now two for two in the game. And there is nobody out. There is Mitch Tormolin, and we'll have a visit to the hill. When Holy Family was faced with this situation two innings ago with one out, they got out of it. Unscathed. And Rosenbrock is done warming up in the bullpen because he's on deck. And Brush had the four and five hitters coming up. Now they've got the three, four, and five hitters. And they've dodged one bullet before. Holy Family trying to dodge a second. And Mark Muniz did not want to take a chance. As it looked like Acosta didn't have the greatest jump off of second. Conversation still going on with Brush leading in the fifth inning, one nothing. Zach Trombley will stay in the game. And he will face Mitch Tormolin, who is hit into a fielder's choice and walked. The B figures looking to extend a one nothing lead. Now this is it for Brush. I mean they could really they could grab a three or four run lead right here and make things difficult on Holy Family. And Tormolin awaits the pitch. Swung on and grounded inside the third baseline for a base hit. One run scores. Maris is around third, and he will score. It's a two run single for Mitch Tormolin. Brush in the fifth inning leads Holy Family three to nothing. And the beat diggers want to keep this rally going. And now we will have a pitching change after that base hit by Tormolin. We'll take it with him. First and second, nobody out in the top of the fifth inning. We'll tell you about the new pitcher after this. Brush three, only family nothing on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. Right-hander Adrian Doe is the new pitcher. First and second, nobody out for the beat diggers. They lead three nothing. The pitch to Kyle Rosenbrock is a breaking ball for a strike. No balls and one strike to Rosenbrock who walked and struck out swinging. So he's 0-for-1 in the game. Garcia at second, Tormon at first. And the pitch. Swung on and pitches slowly on the ground of the shortstop, Granberg. He goes to second for one and no throw to first. It'll be a fielder's choice. 6-4. to four. So even though Rosenbrock didn't get a hit, he still advanced a runner. And here's Trevor Blake. And Blake had some bad luck when he lined out into that double play. He's also grounded out. The stretch with one out in the fifth, the pitch. Fastball, a strike. On the outer half, just above the knees, it's 0 1. Brush could use that fourth run now. They've scored two with Mitch Tormolin's two run single. We are in the fifth inning. And the offering. Swung on and foul straight back. 
The count is at 0-2. And Ryan Hurstfeld on deck is overdue. We know that. No hit so far in the state tournament, and he's their best hitter all season. Off of third, Garcia. Rosenbrock at first. 0-2 pitch. Swung on and lifted deep to left field. That's going to score the run. Way back is 10. He's going to make the catch. Taking off is Garcia to the plate. And he is going to score on the sack fly by Blake. And Brushdown leads Holy Family 4 to nothing. And that's exactly what Blake had to do. Just get it in the outfield. Remaining at first is Rosenbrock. Here's Ryan Hirschfeld. He is grounded out and popped out. Hirschfeld in the state tournament is 0 for 9. But even with that, is hitting 394. The stretch, and Adrian Doe delivers. And the breaking ball is right there for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Six pitches thrown by Doe. All six have been for strikes. Rosenbrock with a one-step lead. Hirschfeld awaits the pitch. Here it is. Curveball is tapped foul up the first base side. They counted no balls and two strikes. This was a one nothing game for four innings. Now the Beat Diggers have broken through with three more. The winner of this game automatically qualifies for the state finals regardless of their result next week. Curveball is lifted to left field. Two is left as Tenen, and he makes the running catch. And the inning is over. However, the Bean Diggers score three runs, and they do it on three hits. No errors and a man left. We head to the bottom of the fifth inning. Brush four. Holy family nothing on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. John Beltran back at Butch Butler Field. Let's head to the bottom of the fifth inning. Brush leading Holy Family 4 nothing. Now when the Bean Diggers scored three runs yesterday against Eaton in the fourth Eaton came back with two in the fifth, so this inning is, again, very critical. Here's Zach Deed in the pitch. Well, that fastball very high to the screen off the glove of Blake. It's 1-0. and Eaton struck out looking on a 3-2 pitch in his first at bat. And Eric Garcia thrown just 57 pitches, but 29 balls, 28 strikes. That fastball's high. And at this point, you let him hit it. Garcia's allowed just two hits, but... He has lost control of the strike zone. Swing and a miss. Threw that fastball right by Deed in his 2-1. and one. He can reestablish it here as he did on that last pitch. 8-9-1 and one in the order for Holy Family. Now he's shorter on that changeup. Three balls and one strike. The beat digger crowd not necessarily counting down the outs yet because this Holy Family team has scored 36 runs in the state tournament so far. And the 3-1. Up and in with a fastball. It's ball four. And that might be it. That might be the change. Let's see if Garcia stays in the game. Because he got out of a jam. And it looks like Kyle Rosenbrock's going to come into pitch. We'll take a break with a score. Brush four. Holy family nothing in the bottom of the fifth inning on 10-10 KSIR and KSIR.com. Kyle Rosenbrock into pitch, and the fastball all the way to the screen. One ball and no strikes. Rosenbrock lost control of that pitch completely. Beat Diggers with a 4 nothing lead in the bottom of the fifth inning. Zach Deaton just advanced to second on that wild pitch with David Johnson at the plate. Rosenbrock 3-0 and with two saves. And a 1.25 ERA. Fastball is low and away. Four pitches thrown by Eric Garcia. We're all out of the zone. And now two by Rosenbrock have missed. The offering. Fastball outside corner for a strike. Thigh high. It's two and one. Don't close the book yet on Garcia after Rosenbrock gets out of this inning. Swung on foul with a breaking ball off the end of the bat towards the first base dugout. The count is at two and two. One run in the first for Brush, three in the fifth. Holy Family attempting to counter. And the 2 2. Swung on blind foul off to the right and out of play. Count remains at 0 and 2. Holy Family had a threat one inning ago and 
Eric Garcia got out of it. 2-2 pitch. Breaking ball swung on and into the ground was the pitch. But Blake did not have to apply the tag because Johnson turned towards the dugout, so it's a strikeout. There's one down. One down for Jacob Tennant. Tennant has struck out and walked. The stretch. Rosenbrock delivers. Fastball is inside. One ball and no strikes. Rosenbrock in three starts this year. Allowed one run in 21 innings. Throw back to second. Back in diving is Deaton. Big diggers, though, know that they've just got to worry about the hitters. One ball, no strikes to 10. The stretch by Rosenbrock to pitch. And the fastball is outside. 2-0. and oh. And this Holy Family team's going to be patient until the beat diggers can throw strikes. Swing and a miss, and we know that Rosenbrock can do that. On a fastball in the outer half, it's 2-1. and one. At 1305 Edison Street in Brush, CNC Auto Parts is your local Napa Auto Parts store. The offering, curveball is grounded slowly up the first baseline, but trickles foul. Two balls and two strikes. The bottom of the fifth inning, Brush leads Holy Family 4-0. The winner of this game automatically advances to the state championship game regardless of the outcome in the state semis. They'll either get to the championship game with a loss in the state semis or none. And the 2-2 pitch. Sliding and a miss and a fastball down and away at the knees, and there's two down. Rosenbrock threw the gas, and Tinnen couldn't catch up. That'll bring up Devlin Granberg, the shortstop, who was grounded out and popped out. Rose, Rosenbrock is certainly fit for the closer's role, but he's got many more outs to get here. Still got seven more to get. With Zach Deaton at second. The beat diggers have been the masters of the close game at the state tournament. As we mentioned, Holy Family comes off a 25-6 to victory of Olathe. But Brush has taken on teams like this before in the playoffs this year. I'll give you some examples momentarily. Fastball outside corner for a strike at the knees. After Strasburg defeated Bennett 15-5, to the beat diggers shut out Strasburg 5 nothing after... Eaton beat Lamar 19 to 4. Beat Diggers beat them 3 to 2. And the 0 1. And the breaking ball bounces off of Blake, but up the third base side, and the runner takes off for third. The throw is going to sail down the left field line. I don't know why Blake threw the ball. He commits the air. The throw towards the plate and scoring is Eaton, and it's now 4 to 1. I don't know why Blake threw the ball, but he's pointing towards himself. Yeah, I mean, there's no way he should have thrown that ball. Just give away the wild pitch, and that's it. But instead, Deaton scores on the air by Blake. And the Beat Diggers commit their first one of the game. So it's now 4-1. to one. Yeah, There was no way he was going to nail Deaton to third, and he threw it off balance and well over the head of Monday. Wide of the pitch, and the breaking ball's fouled back. One ball, two strikes, and Blake pointed to himself. He knew that was his mistake. One ball, two strikes to Grantberg, the number two hitter in this lineup, and Garrett West is on deck. You don't want to face him with a man on base. Get him to start the sixth. The pitch. Swung on and chopped slowly to second. Hirschfeld has got it. Sets throws to first, and the inning is over. Holy Family does score a run in the inning, but they did not have a hit in the inning. There was a beat digger air. Nobody left. Five complete at the 3 A state tournament. Brush 4, Holy Family 1 on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. John Beltran back at Butch Butler Field and Grayley as we head to the sixth inning. And Brush in his winner's bracket game in Class 3A leads Holy Family 4-1. to one. And Brush will send up the bottom of the order against right-hander Adrian Doe, who came into the game one inning ago in favor of Zach Trombley and threw eight pitches all for strikes. Jesus Cardenas, Tyler Monday, and Dylan Acosta. Cardenas has walked and grounded out. He is 0 for 1. The stretch where the base is empty. And the offering. Swung on line towards right center field for a base hit. 
And the Feed Diggers pick up their sixth hit of the game. And once again, a leadoff man on as they're looking to get back the run. They relinquished half an inning ago. Northeastern Colorado's hometown savings and loan with locations in Brush and Fort Morgan is equitable savings and loan. Monday grounded into a double play and popped out. He's 0 for 2. Those stretches, the offering, and the breaking ball is a strike. A looping curveball, it's 0-1. Monday still looking for his first hit of the state tournament. He is 0 for 7. The strike by go. And the pitch swung on and fouled back. As Doe went with a changeup, no balls and two strikes. Well, I don't know if Doe knows how to throw a ball. He's thrown 11 strikes. Hasn't thrown a single ball yet. Guiding us with a step and a half lead. Monday awaits the pitch, and that changeup is up and away. One ball and two strikes. If you could turn the lineup over and get to Maris, which they should be able to do unless a double plays hit, you might have a chance to get that run back here in the top of the sixth. No stretches. Pitch to Monday. Swat on and driven deep to left field, and it's fair. It's a home run, and that ball is on. A home run for China Monday. A million shot inside the field hole, and Brush now leads Holy Family 6-1. to one. Holy mongoose. That thing was drilled. It was just a matter of fair or foul for Tyler Monday, his first round tripper of the year. And that ball was launched. And here's Dylan Acosta reached on an air and single, so he's one for two, but a perfect day so far. And that was a hanging change up thrown by Adrian Doe, and that's one of the issues with Doe, he's thrown so many strikes that the beat diggers are now getting more aggressive. And the offering swung on and lifted in the infield towards the second baseman, Simpson, and two steps into the grass makes the catchers one down. One down here in the sixth inning. What a time. Monday picked for his first hit of the state tournament. Gregory Maris is singled, popped out, and walked. He is one for two in the game. As the beat digger shortstop steps in. Against Adrian Doe. The stretch with the bases empty and one out. Pitch to Maris. And the changeup is a little bit low and away. One ball and no strikes. Only one, one, two, three inning for Holy Family thus far in the game. The pitch, breaking ball, bounces to the screen. Two balls and no strikes. And Brush has not had this big a lead in the playoffs since the finals against Strasburg, the district finals, which they won 5 to nothing last Saturday. The offering, change up in the dirt. Three balls and no strikes. And Maris has walked 19 times this year. The 3-0 pitch to Maris. And that's taken for a strike. Took something off the fastball at the knees. Three balls and one strike. Brush now with a 6-1 lead on Holy Family. Again, Doe. With a 3-1 offering. Swung on and lifted to left field. Should be a routine play for Jacob Tennant as he backs up to his left and makes the catch. And there's two down. Eric Garcia has had a monster game offensively. He's walked, doubled, and singled. For all of your auto supply needs, stop by Central Auto Parts in Fort Morgan and committed to serving those in production ag. Premier Farm Credit is the gold standard in ag lending. Garcia waits the pitch from Adrian Doe. And here it is. And the breaking ball is upstairs. One ball and no strikes. Brush led one to nothing after an inning. After half an inning, it stayed that way until three in the fifth. Holy Family countered with one. Change up, up and away. Two balls, no strikes. And then Tyler Monday just delivered a two-run bomb inside the left field foul pole. And Brush has a five-run advantage. 
Two balls and no strikes. And Garcia waits. Change up is up and in. All of a sudden, Adrian Doe's now throwing a lot of balls here. Three balls and no strikes. He went to 3-0 and with Maris before retiring him. With Miss Tormolin, who had the big two-run single in that three-run frame, and that is outside with another changeup. And Garcia walks. Garcia perfect on the two walks, a single and a double. And, of course, he did his job on the mound as well. As Garcia in this game, through four-plus innings, allowed one run, but it was unearned. It's to Tormolin. Breaking ball is a beauty for a strike. It's 0-1. A fielder's choice, a walk. And, again, that two-RBI single for Tormolin. Garcia with a one-step lead over at first. The stretch by Adrian Doe. And the offering. Curveball is grounded foul off the third base side, and the count is at no balls and two strikes. To the bait digger, first baseman. McManus lays down the sign. The stretch and the offering. Call strike three with a fastball right there down the middle. Tormolin strikes out, and the inning is over. However, the beat digger scored two runs on two hits. A single by Jesus Cardenas and a two-run homer by Tyler Monday. No errors and a man left. Five and a half complete in his winner's bracket game in the 3A state tournament. Brush six. Holy family one on 1010-KSIR at com. We hit the bottom of the sixth inning. And Kyle Rosenbrock will face Garrett West, Joe Walls, and Jay Elliott, the heart of the order for Holy Family, with Brush leading 6-1. to one. West is tripled and lined out, so he's hit the ball hard twice. He was stranded at third in the first. And the pitch. And that is upstairs. Took something off, but it's 1-0. and We are live pitch-by-pitch pitch at KSIRsports.com. In case you want a detailed account of this game, that ball bounces in. 2-0. and At this point, every other beat digger just... Have Rosenbrock throw strikes and take care of this one. Low and away, 3-0 and to West. Not the way to start this inning. But Rosenbrock doesn't walk many, so he knows how to come back in the count. 3-0 pitch. It's outside. Walked him on four pitches. That'll bring up Joe Walls, who's popped out and walked. So, Walls is only 0 for 1 in the game. The Diggers just six outs away right now. The pitch upstairs. Maybe Rosenbrock feeling the pressure. He's a freshman of trying to put this Holy Family team away. The stretch by Rosenbrock, 1-0. Fastball. Boy, where was that? Looked like it was on the inside corner, 2-0. He might have to throw one down the middle. Two balls and no strikes. It looked clearly like that was going to be a 1-1. The offering, that's a strike. Down the middle at the knees with a fastball. Two balls and one strike. Now, Holy Family won't be swinging. They're, they're going to be defensive here. If the beat diggers can't throw strikes, the pitch and the breaking ball is low and away. 3-1. Well, there was one Holy Family fan I could hear him clearly after Monday's home run saying this game is not over yet. I mean, they have scored 36 runs over the first two games of this tournament. Swung on and grounded a third. Monday's got it. Throws to second. That's one. Hurst fell to first. And, oh, it could not be dug out by Tormolin. Should have been a double play. But Tormolin could not dig it out. Only a fielder's choice. Oh, that's too bad. They had the easy double play there. And now they're going to call it a double play on runner's interference. Yeah, they have called a double play. Runner's interference. So the fielder's choice goes 5-4. to four. The B-diggers were victimized by that yesterday. So there's two down. And Mark Gow is not happy about that whatsoever. So with 
two down. Here is Jay Elliott. Got the automatic first and out, Grand. Uh, automatic out at first, I should say. Let's get the terminology correct. The pitch. And I didn't see anything from here that warranted that, but sometimes that's what happens at baseball. The beat diggers had one go against them yesterday, one for them today. Fastball, a strike on the outer half of the knees. One ball and one strike to Jay Elliott, who struck out swinging and walked. We're in the bottom of the sixth inning. Brush six, only family one. The pitch. The breaking ball is lined towards right field. Daniel Soto to his right. Makes the losing catch. The inning is over. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left. Six complete at the 2012 3A State Tournament from Butch Butler, Field, and Greeley. Brush six. Holy family one on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. John Beltran back in Greeley. The Bean Diggers of Brush lead six to one. Their pitching has been incredible here throughout the state tournament. Only five runs allowed in 20 innings. And let's see, Holy Family's got a new pitcher out there. Let's see if we can identify who that is to begin the inning. That's Devlin Granberg. Which means there will be a new shortstop out there. Trying to get that shortstop. That looks like it's Louis Simpson at short. And then at second base is Matt Herb. So those are the changes as we head to the seventh inning here. Brush six, Holy Family one. And it looks like the matchups, like I said, are pretty much set for next week because the intent is not to have teams match up before the finals that have already met earlier in the tournament which means Brush would face Lamar and Holy Family would take on Eaton. And that's irrespective of what happens here. The question is when those teams would play. It would be on Friday, but do they flip some of the times around? And it appears that the Beat Diggers would play at noon and they move Lamar up and then the Holy Family Eaton game would be at 2.30. But we'll have to get clarification on that. Here's Kyle Rosenbrock, the pitch. Fastball is down and away. One ball and no strikes. Rosenbrock has walked, struck out, and hit into a fielder's choice. He is 0 for 2. And the offering. Upstairs, two balls and no strikes. To Rosenbrock. The beat digger freshman awaits the pitch. Swung on, that ball's hit on the ground, off the pitcher, but he picks it up. Granberg throws to first, there's one down. One down in the seventh for Trevor Blake, who lined into a double play, excuse me, in the first inning. He grounded out, then delivered a sack fly in the three-run fifth inning, which at that time gave the Beat Diggers a 4 nothing lead. For great family entertainment, check out Fire Lanes. Walk in or reserve your time at Fire Lanes 220 Cambridge in Brush. And the curveball is low. One ball and no strikes. McManus lays down the sign. And the 1 0 pitch. Swing and a miss and a change up. The count is level. At one ball and one strike. Only families only run scored on an error. Their run came in the bottom of the fifth inning. Swung on line. Base hit into left field for Blake, who is now one for three in the game. Besides the RBI he's got. And Brush has eight hits in the game. And here's Ryan Hirschfeld, who's grounded out and popped out twice. He's 0 for 3, still looking for his first hit of the tournament. The stretch and the offering upstairs. And it's one ball and no strikes. And Hirschfeld's got home run power. He's got one in the district tournament. The offering. Swag. And I'm missing a breaking ball down and away. And the count is level at one ball and one strike. 
Off of first is Blake, about a step and a half lead. And Devlin Granberg delivers. Swing and a miss on the ball in the dirt, and taking off for second is Blake on the wild pitch as the ball bounces away from McManus. It is one and two, and now a base hit can score Blake. That's well, one ball and two strikes to Ryan Hirschfeld. Yeah, Hirschfeld's way too good of a hitter to be going through this type of slump. All out of 10 in the state tournament. The stretch, and Granberg looks in. The pitch, swing, and a miss, and the ball got away. The throw to first will retire Hirschfeld, but allows Blake to advance to third. So it is a strikeout. And here's Jesus Gandanas with two outs in the seventh. Jesus walked, grounded out, then singled. And that was just ahead of Tyler Monday's two-run homer one inning ago. The wind-up by Granberg, the pitch, and the breaking ball is a strike. Thigh high, it's 0-1. And Gandanas has got lots of speed if he can put something on the ground and maybe beat it out. The offering... Fastball is upstairs. The count is level at one ball and one strike. Your one-stop shop for all of your banking and investment needs, from checking to savings to IRAs, is Morgan Federal Bank. Breaking ball is grounded to the first baseman, and stepping on the bag and making the play is Garrett West. And the inning is over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left at third. Let's head to the bottom of the seventh inning. The score, brush six. Holy Family 1 on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. It'll be the 6, 7, and 8 hitters against Kyle Rosenbrock in the bottom of the 7th inning. Brush with a 6-1 to one lead on Holy Family. The boss man, Alec Creighton, just went through the bracket, and the way he read it, it would be Brush taking on Lamar at 2.30 coming up on Friday. And we'll get confirmation of that. And we'll send it, pass that on to you during 10-10 preps and more on Monday from 1 to 2. But that's what we believe will happen. And Kyle Rosenbrock beginning his third inning of work. Fastball is in the dirt. A single and a pop out for Simpson. He is 1 for 2 in the game. Holy Family does have an explosive offense. He can't take this for granted. Swung on and lifted into left center field. Long run for Acosta to his right. Still tracking it and makes the catch in the gap. And Acosta with all that speed. Close in on that baseball. And there's one down in the seventh. And that will send up Matt Erb. Now hitting in Zach Trombley's position. After he came into the game defensively. In the sixth, wind by Rosenbrock to pitch, and the breaking ball is lying to left, and that's going to drop for a base hit on a hanging curveball. And Herb is at first with one down. And Holy Family picked up just their third hit. They had two off Garcia. Here's Zach Deaton. Deaton struck out looking and walked. He is 0-for-1 in the game. The beat diggers with a five-run lead are two outs away. The stretch and the offering. Fastball is grounded over the mound, headed for center field, and it's a base hit. Hirschfeld could not get it. Dylan Acosta tracks down that baseball. Fourth hit of the game for Holy Family. First and second. One out here for David Johnson. Was popped out and struck out swinging. And looks like Nick Harris is the courtesy runner at first for Deaton. So Herb at second, Harris at first. Two on, one out. At 502 Ensign in downtown Fort Morgan, the place to shop for all of your appliance needs is B&B Appliance, a member of the Brand Source Retail Program and getting your hearing to its very best, Platte Valley Hearing Center, 417 Main Street in Fort Morgan. Blake lays down the sign. The pitch, fastball is low. This game would get very interesting here if Johnson can reach, because then you turn over the lineup. 
Rosenbrock trying to gut it out, 1-0. Swung on and popped up into foul territory on the right side. The catcher, Blake, gets under it, and he makes the catch along the first base side, and there's two down. And that was right near the plate. Barely had to move. We think her fans are going crazy. No matter what your loan needs, stop by High Plains Bank, 502 Central Avenue in Wiggins. Also inquire about checking and savings accounts as well as CDs at High Plains Bank in Wiggins. Here is Jacob Tennant with two out, two on. And the breaking ball is outside. Tennant has struck out twice and walked. At second is Herb. At first is Harris. Brush leading 6-1 to one in the bottom of the seventh inning in Greeley. The pitch. Fastball is outside. Two balls and no strikes. Uh, Rosenbrock can't rev up too much. Take his time and throw it over the plate. The offering. Down and in. Three and one. And again, Holy Family hasn't hit the ball much in this game. They do have half of their hits in this inning. But the Bee Diggers have had their battles with walks at time in the game. And that fastball's a strike. Tanner was taking off towards first, but I don't know why. That was clearly down the middle. But we did see one or two pitches earlier that appeared to be strikes that were called balls. Rosenbrock has not been as consistent. 19 strikes, 18 balls. The pitch, and that ball hit Tennant on the right leg. And the bases are loaded. Now how big does that tighter Monday home run loom? Large at this point. Because it could have been a three-run lead, and now it's a five-run lead. Bases loaded. Two down in the seventh for Devlin Granberg, who is 0 for 3 in the game. He is grounded to Monday. Hit that fly ball that was caught by Rosenbrock and left. And then grounded to the second baseman, Ryan Hirschfeld. Looking to keep the game alive. The tying run is on deck if Granberg reaches. The stretch by Rosenbrock. The pitch. Swung on and fouled off to the right at 0-1. Well, Rosenbrock got out of a first and third jam yesterday, a couple of jams against Eaton. But he's looking now to close this thing out, and it would be a save because he's pitched almost three innings. The offering. Curveball is lined, and that's going to be a base hit to right field. Soto feels it. One run is going to score. He gets the ball back in. As scoring is Matt Herb, and it's now a 6-2 to two game. And now, the tying run is at the plate. Holy Mahungas, it's Garrett West, too. Their best hitter. West hit a three-run homer against Brush back on March the 15th. And this is it. The beat digger fans trying to encourage Rosenbrock to get that final out. A triple, a line drive, and a walk to pitch. And the breaking ball is outside. One ball and no strikes. Holy Family looking for a miracle here in the seventh. They had two on and two out. A hit batsman and a singles extended the game. The pitch up and away. Two and zero. Oh. And Joe Walls is on deck. This is as tense as the game has gotten. And with West, he does have home run power. Rosenbrock's going to wind up. 2-0 pitch. Low with a fastball. 3-0. and Yeah, I don't think Rosenbrock wants to pitch to West. I think he wants to take care of it with Joe Walls. West might be swinging here on 3-0, the offering. He walked him. Scores a run. The bases remain reloaded. It's 6-3. to three. It'll bring up Joe Walls, and we'll have a visit to the Hill. Yeah, this game is far from over now with Tannen at third, Granberg at second, West at first. And the Big Diggers are now up by three runs. Holy Family is one base hit away, and they're a long ball away from actually winning this game. And Walls is the cleanup hitter in this lineup. Conversation is broken up. 
Yeah, Rosenbrock has not been on today. 23 balls, 21 strikes, but one more out will complete the win. Just one more. Well, the Beat Diggers advance to the state championship game with a victory here. Well, the question and the answer to that are yes, if we can get one more out. Here is Walls. Wind and pitch. Fastball is grounded left side. Maris to his right. Plays it off his body. Long throw to first. And the first three diggers have won the game over the Holy Family Tigers. Six to three. And qualify for the state championship game. Wow. What tension in the seventh inning. Holy Family scored a couple of runs in the frame. And they did it. On three hits, no errors, and the bases were left loaded. Brush six, Holy Family three. A two-minute break on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. John Beltran back at Butch Butler Field in Greeley. Welcome to the Beat Digger Post Game Show brought to you by Buildings by Design. The most important thing to buying a new building or starting a new design-built project is picking the right company to build it for a free bid called Pat Walter, Travis Lefevre, 970-842-5837. Visit them on the web at buildingsbydesign.com. The Bean Diggers defeat the Holy Family Tigers. They advance to the state championship game, although they'll play a semifinal coming up on Friday. The difference is if they win that semifinal, they'd have to lose twice on Saturday to be denied the state title if they lose that game on Friday, then there would be just a winner-take-all coming up on Saturday. Six runs, eight hits, one air, seven left on base for the Beat Diggers. Three runs, five hits, one air, seven left on base for Holy Family. The winning pitcher was Eric Garcia. He went four-plus innings. He was very effective. The loss, of course, went to Zach Trombley and the save to Kyle Rosenbrock. Three innings, and he did the job as the uh, Beat Diggers won their 12th consecutive game improved to 18 and 6 on the year and we're going to get a clarification here an hour and 45 minutes time of the game and we'll find out here yeah there is no clarification yet we know that Brush will play Lamar but no clarification as to whether that game will be at noon or 2.30. That being announced right now, but that will be updated on Chassa's website, so chassa.org. The Beat Diggers took a one nothing lead in the first inning in a wild pitch that played at Gregory Maris, who got a base hit to lead off this game. It was still one nothing until the fifth. That's when the Beat Diggers had two on, on two base hits, and then Mitch Tormolin, with the bases loaded, actually, hit a two-run single down the left field line. Trevor Blake added a sacrifice fly, making it four to nothing. Holy Family counter with a run in the fifth. Then Tyler Monday delivered a two-run bomb in the top of the sixth inning, making it six to one. Kyle Rosenbrock got into trouble, of course, in the seventh. And I say, of course, uh, because it was six to three, not because he's accustomed to getting into trouble, but based on the fact that Beatnickers had a five-run lead and one by three, Rosenbrock got out of a bases-loaded jam, induced a ground ball to Maris to end the game, and the Beatnickers defeat Holy Family six to three. What we do know is that the Beatnickers will be playing Lamar coming up on Friday in the state semifinals, and once again, if they win that game, then they would play only once, and they'll play only once anyway on Saturday because. Even if the Beat Diggers lose that game, it makes no difference. They do not have to play two games uh, next Saturday whatsoever unless they win that game and then would have two chances to uh, win the state tournament. Two chances. So anyway, that might sound complicated, but that's what happens in a double elimination tournament. And now we've gotten clarification from Valley AD Eric Johnson that the Beat Diggers will take on the Lamar Savages at noon. That will be a noon start right here from Butch Butler Field in Greeley. And once again, I'll explain the scenario in English once again. If Brush defeats Lamar, then they would play at 10 a.m. on Saturday for the state title. And if they lost that game, they'd play again at 12.30 because Brush would go into that Saturday uh, contest with no losses. If Brush loses to Lamar on Friday, then they would play at 12.30, still for the state title, but that would be a winner-take-all situation. Outstanding job by our sound engineer and producer, Rose Condes. I'm John Beltran. The final score of this 3A state tournament game from Butch Butler Field in Greeley. 
Rush 6, Holy Family 3 until Friday at noon when the Bee Diggers face the Lamar Savages in a state semifinal in Class 3A. You've been listening to the 2012 3A State Baseball Tournament right here on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com.